Right, what year is this car and what model is it? It is a 2010 Hyundai i30. Right, back discs and pads are knackered, so to change the disc we need to get the disc off and to change the pads you need to get the caliper off. Now to get the caliper out of the frame, it's the metric equivalent of a 916 spanner. Those two bolts will get you your caliper. Put the caliper somewhere safe. Now to get the disc off, you need to be able to take the frame off. And to get the frame off, the top one's nice and easy. According to Hyundai, to get the bottom one out, you need to take the suspension arm out, which you don't need to do. Just with plenty of patience and a ring spanner, just undo it, pull it out. May need to be uh, receive some assistance. <laughs> right, lever. Yep. Right, so there's the frame. It just happens to come out with the pads in it. We'll be changing all this metal work and you might notice that the pads have got a passing resemblance of friction lining in there. That would explain all the squealing from the braking system and the driver. Now, to get the disc off, you're probably going to need an impact driver to take the cross-headed short countersunk locking screws out of there. Now remember where those holes are because what you've got inside here is a handbrake mechanism and the handbrake mechanism is effectively like a drum brake so the pads are engaging with the inside of this disc. What that means is there's a groove on the in outboards, inboard side of the disc stopping you getting this disc, this disc off and you can try and set fire to it or you can hit it with a big hammer but according to the Hyundai manual you get two M8 bolts you might notice that these are threaded. So screw those in. In the best traditions of nuclear arsenal release. Turn the screws. What this will actually do is it will pull the disc off the shoes. Otherwise, hammering it is just going to annoy it. And what you'll notice is that these bolts go quite light. There might be a bit of crunching. And you'll reach the point where not any more resistance and thank you there's some nice convenient things to pull it with so what you see now is where the parking brake where the handbrake pads ride you can feel the lip in there that was stopping you pulling the disc off now what you can do while you're in here is just have a look to see how much friction linings left on these shoes because by crikey if you're in here already you may as well do something about it and get rid of all the shit that's knocking around inside there and you can feel the wheel bearing make sure it's not grinding or binding and as they say in the Haynes manual that you can't get for this vehicle reassembly is a reverse of disassembly so we've got discs and pads to do on both sides but now we actually know what we're doing it's considerably easier than before and if you just look in here go on camera one <coughs> this is the bolt the lower bolt for the caliper holder 
Now the official line is to take break this joint and take the bottom sus the suspension arm out, which is a complete waste of time because there you can see the top of the bolt and you can just undo it and if you pull it out to its full extent it actually enables you to get the uh, caliper holder out of the way. So there we go, there's the job saved. I think that's it. Thank you.